We have two honorees of the Gold Derby Award. So we want to tell them how much we love them and appreciate what they've done and the accomplishment that they've achieved in this very competitive town. And what it is, it's, it's made by the same company that makes the Emmy and the Grammy and a lot of the biggest awards in America. And this, this is an image of Pegasus, uh, the Greek mythological horse whose job was to carry Zeus up to the top of Mount Olympus. And that's what these two guys have uh, already done in their career. We want to be the first to say thank you by giving these awards to them. I've asked in each case for Chris Alexander and uh, for Kurt King to give us one of their co-workers to tell us what it's like working, uh, soldiering side by side with these guys. And uh, we're gonna do this the same way the Oscars do. God help anybody who goes over two minutes. <laughs> we're gonna start off with Chris Alexander. And <laughs> Fraser is going to give us a little glimpse. Come up here and give sure. us a little insight about Chris. There's one person I'd be up here for, and I apologize for being on my phone. Tom's freaking tired. Um, I met Chris 14 years ago. I just started at 20th Century Fox Television, and shortly after I started, we had a restructuring in our department. Chris was going to be the new head of publicity, and I, unfortunately, was going to be transferred to another department. I was not so thrilled about that. So, upon hearing this news, I walked straight into Chris's office, closed the door, and said, please keep me on your team. Let me work for you. I know you have an assistant, but we can fire her, right? <laughs> <laughs> totally fucking with you. I'm not a monster. But he looked at me and with a blank, awkward stare and said, okay. To which I responded, I'm Cotty, by the way, and I closed his door. Uh, I started working for him the following week. From that point, our partnership took off with two new pilots that were about to air, Lee and Modern Family. I stepped into a role that was new to both of us, awards. Sidebar, uh, I was also his assistant for like two or three years, but nothing worth noting about this chapter since I was likely the worst assistant he has ever had. So I'm just gonna skip to the better parts. Um, Chris and I launched campaigns for Glee, Modern Family, Homeland, This Is Us, Empire, American Crime Story, Bossy Burden, and many, many more. Woo! I learned everything I know from Chris, but most importantly, I learned what a great leader should look like. Unwavering support, respect, and composed confidence. And damn good in a crisis, I have to say. Uh, Chris was always my boss, but still to this day, he's my mentor, my biggest champion, and one of my best friends. So, I think I'm under two, am I not? <laughs> yes, stay so right tonight, too. <clears throat> I face all my biggest fears, being in front of all of you tonight, and I'm so honored to present this award to my very, very good friend, Chris Alexander. <laughs> Thank you, KK. I will never forget the day you poked your head into my office and asked, if you could be my assistant, you're extraordinarily talented, you're a brilliant award strategist, and your event planning is second to none, but your assistant skills, well, let's just say you're hilarious. <laughs> and so what if I never got half my messages? You know, the producers and reporters and executives probably would have called back and put them with me. And Tom O'Neill, you sly dog, I, uh, you predicted I would win this award tonight, and sure enough, <laughs> I predicted you that Family Guy was going to be nominated. You did for predict Family Guy. Um, seriously, you Gold Derby boys are magicians, and someday I would like to know how you predict awards results and get it right so much of the time. I would also like to thank you, on behalf of publicists everywhere, for providing the handiest cheat sheet ever created. Not since the Cliff Notes helped me get through Anna Karenina in high school. Has one website been such a reliable shortcut? Whenever I had a certain high-level producer on the line, the first thing I would do before picking up the phone was hit the bookmark tab for goldderby.com, and when he asked me, what are our chances to win the Emmy this year, I knew there was the answer right there on the screen. Uh -huh. And that's how we knew whether to be extra generous booking Emmy limousines that year, or whether we better start managing expectations, because you know HBO, they win Emmy. <laughs> and it's really an honor to be nominated and to begin the conversation. 
And no one drives the conversation more passionately, with, with more intelligence and insight than the guys at the Gold Derby. So getting this award from all of you is really special. And the Career Achievement Award, no less. I mean, which we all pretty much know is code for you're old, you've been doing this forever, <laughs> enough already. And clearly, I agree with you. When I, when I announced I was leaving Disney after 30 years, I consistently got three responses. First was, oh my god, are you okay? Did you get some horrific medical news? Do you have months to live? Or, oh my god, did they fire you? Did you do something shady? Did they force you out? Or, finally, come on, you can tell me. Who offered you a job? Where are you going? I promise to keep your secret. And none of these were true, of course. I really did leave voluntarily with no other job offer, no terminal illness, at least that I know of. But it's so interesting to me that the conventional wisdom in this town is that no one would possibly leave one of these jobs voluntarily simply because they felt like they'd done enough. I mean, this business certainly has its share of fun and rewards, but the idea that it's so damn magical that no one in their right mind would ever leave just to try something else, I mean, I think we might have all drunk a little bit too much of our own Hollywood Kool-Aid. And yet the job has been a blast and a hell of a ride. I mean, in what other job would you get to meet Oprah Winfrey and Barack Obama in the same weekend? That was for Glee, by the way, and I'm still not sure who Oprah or Barack made me more starstruck. Or get a private audience with CIA operatives in their DC headquarters, that was for Homeland. Or meet Monica Lewinsky twice, first when you were publicizing Barbara Walters' most memorable interview of all time, and then decades later when she was a producer on one of our all too underappreciated impeachment American crime story. From Modern Family to Family Guy, from This Is Us to 24, from The Dropout to Jokesick, I've had a front row seat to some of the best television ever made by some of the greatest talent there ever was, and I am so thankful to have had that privilege. And consistently throughout this career of working with the best of the best, the Gold Derby team was there, rooting for these shows and these creators, asking them fantastic questions, and handicapping their chances of taking home statues with startling accuracy. So I want to thank them for this lovely honor, and I'd like to congratulate my fellow honoree, Kurt King, with whom I've collaborated on many a project, competed with on others, and to this day, share the title of President of the Yong Kim Fan Club. <laughs> so thank you all tonight. I really appreciate it. All of a sudden, Chris Pizzo and I looked up at each other and said, let's go back to the real stars of this industry. Yeah! Chris, <laughs> who really make it happen and shine that light on deserving example. So thank you. Uh, let the party resume. And uh, thank you, Chris.